What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of kind of indie games, from a team that was once an indie team that now has been picked up by Nacon, uh, we're gonna be taking a look at Welcome to Paradise, a zombie apocalypse survival sandbox that has been hotly awaited and has been rattling around on the top wish listed charts on Steam for a little bit. We're gonna dive in today. This is the developers that created How to Survive One and Two. Kind of a kind of spotty games here and there. I liked the first one, didn't like the second one, so I didn't play it all together that much. So I'm kind of buckled up right now. I've got my critique hat on. We're going to see what happens here. We're going to take a look at the game if you wanted to check it out for yourself. I got a link for you down below in the description. Uh, they're, watch out, they're running all kinds of pre-orders and random stuff like that too that I would rather not see in like supporter editions and things like that. Game's not even out yet. Gotta get the game out first. Find out if it's good. So let's dive on in. You can also find a link to my Discord and my Twitch stream if you wanted to hang out live down there. We're going to be doing the single player experience today. I didn't like create this character. They just have like a bunch of pre-build characters that you pick in between. There's like 12 of them. It's not that many. I would have liked to have seen, especially with how primitive the models are, to have some kind of character creator on in there. But I suppose that's life. Let's go ahead and hit it. Are you tired of constantly fleeing? Of hiding? Of struggling in a world infested by zombies? Are you exhausted? Without resources? A home? Without anyone to rely on? Don't despair. Hang in there. You still have a chance. Join us. Join Paradise! Here in Paradise, everyone is safe and everything is secure thanks to our Zombie Guard technology. It's a haven of peace where zombies are under our control. Here, zombies no longer attack you, they defend you. Yes, you heard that right. It's incredible. Thanks to our Zombie Guard technology, Zombies have become genuine bodyguards that serve you. Thousands of acres where the living are back in control and existing in harmony, far from the pandemic, thanks to this groundbreaking technology. Stores, security guards, hospitals, industry, movie theaters. A safe place for everyone, where men, women, and children have nothing more to fear from outside zombies you don't need money, a title, or diploma to get your own zombie guard. Everyone is welcome in paradise. Everyone is welcome in paradise. Everyone is welcome. Everyone is welcome. Seduced by the promise of safety and a semblance of a normal life, you traveled across the country to paradise. After a decade of fighting the living dead, a better life was finally in reach. All right, so we've got our isometry thing going on. There's a big piece of wood right there, and it looks like I can swipe it at an... Oh, that's a lot of zombies down there, dude. That's a, that's a pretty serious quantity of zombies. Swing animation's a little bit chunky, and it doesn't combo. What's over this way? I do have the ability to sprint, which is pretty cool. Those zombies are friendly, so those zombies right there are like automated workers. Gotcha. Ah, I could watch them all day. Don't even need to fetch wood. They feed the generator all by themselves. No more worrying about electricity. Maybe I could teach them to cultivate my veggie garden. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Didn't see you there. Are you wanting to move in here? Uh, wait, uh, hold up. What am I supposed to do? No one ever wants to move in here. Uh, uh, yes, the bylaws. Yes, that's it. Rule number one of the Paradise Bylaws. To gain authorization to move in, you must have a Zombot. No one should move around in Paradise without Zombot protection. So before anything else, find a Zombot. Go see Bob. He supplied mine. 
The suburb is su suspiciously more bloody and gory than I expected. The, the pictures looked a lot cleaner. There, there are smudge marks from human hands trying to get in over. There's blood all over everything. This is frankly unsanitary, sir. Uh, so we got to open up the map, and it says, Don't die and find Bob. Isn't that really the reason why we all keep persevering? Just to not die and find Bob. All right, let's head off in a Bob-like direction and see if we can track this guy down. We'll open world it up a little bit. Environment seems pretty good looking. Not too ugly and nasty. Is that zombie right there, is that one of the ones that's cool? Or is that zombie like kind of a dick? Let's find out. Zombie? Uh, I believe they're dicks, I think is the answer to that question. Okay, a little bit of damage done. I don't suppose I have like a dodge roll. I do have a dodge roll, so that's nice. A little bit of cleave right there. I actually would have really preferred to see the attack animation combo in kind of like a hack and slashy way. Uh, the way that they've got it set up right now, there's no forward movement while you're swinging or anything else like that. And so it feels chunky by comparison to, like, the movement speed you're previously going at. It does have, like, a little step to it, though. Some scrap right there, rip cloth. That one seems like it doesn't want to hurt me. But that one's got a hat on. That one's got underpants on, which is a blessing. I don't think I need to see zombified genitalia. I feel like that's unnecessary to the overall trajectory of my survival experience. Looks like we're leveling up as we kill zombies. The overturned bus. Dude, that's so many dead people. Like, just from flipping over? Alright. Oh, it did combo right. Maybe there's a timing to it. Ow! Maybe there's a timing to it. How come it did like a... Oh, it does. There's like a timing to it. There is, so it's got like a, okay, so it's not chunky, it's got a timing to it, and if you screw up the timing, it doesn't go off. Gotcha. Okay, that makes a little more sense. The emotional support zombot. Open the portable pylon configuration menu. Equip your zombot with a saddle, then order it to heal you while in combat and to collect items while out of combat. And that's it! A zombie to heal you, transport you, and collect items. Hmm? There's more to life than combat. But like, we're putting a saddle on him, right? Does that mean I'm gonna ride him? Like, I'm gonna try to be a jerk here. Why a saddle? Like, couldn't it have been like a belt? Or like a watch? Or like a bracelet or something? Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just the crazy person here. Where am I trying to go? Oh yeah, we needed to meet up with B.O.B. Alright, let's head up this way and see how much trouble I can get myself into with the recently turned ravenous dead. Good stuff. I'll just finish that one off. It didn't seem super interested in murdering me, and I did get to loot its helmet. Take you out real quick. How many of the busted helmets do I need? I mean, I figure I'm gonna have like an army of zombies. I'm a necromancer player from like the Lagomancer days in Diablo 2, where a legitimate strategy was just to have so many zombies that it lagged out your opponent and you won the duel by him forfeiting. That was a legitimate strategy back in the day, bro. And I had a Dell that was ready to perform. All right, Bob, where you at? Teach me the basics of creating zombie surfs. Oh, hey, you're new here, right? Ha. I'm Bob. I'm the one who got the Zombot technology back up and running. The zombie hacking. You want Zombot? I can't give you mine. I need them too much. So you should capture your own. Grab a broken helmet from one of the malfunctioning zombots in front of my camp. Repair it and force it onto the head of a wild zombie. Ha <laughs> ha! If it stops wanting to eat you, it's worked! If not, uh, run! Okay, so I now have the recipe to create for myself a new hacking helmet. 
It looks like we have an array of things that we can craft here. It looks like it mostly takes scrap in order to get that done. But we can get some foresty armor that makes us look like a leshy. Looks like we can get some bandages. It looks like I can make air pellets as well. Some arrows, things like that. Looks like we have a skill tree too to play around with. And it looks like I just assigned these. Apparently I can res my zombies now when they go down. So replace your dead Zombots with each fast travel and heal the ones that are still with you. You will never suffer from loneliness again. Apparently you can ride the Zombot. There's a faithful steed skill where I can ride them around. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I like the idea of the game so far. It's like a little bit low rent and ass eddy in terms of appearance. But I do like the sense of humor. Like, it is funny. Uh, let's repair some of these helmets real quick. I don't know how many of these zombies are around, but hey. Mash out like three hacking helmets and let's go see if I can capture a zombie. So if I knock it down or out, I can put a helmet on him. Okay, that one's down. I'm gonna capture you. Yay! New friend. New friend. I got a new friend and he is a zombie. No, don't kill him though. I'm trying to capture more of you. My zombie is acting in the service of liberty. <laughs> Rise up other zombies. Do not give in to the human menace. All right, so how do I dictate his behavior? I may not have access to that menu yet, but it looks like we can also pick and choose what they do. No zombie, stop it. All right, I'm gonna go talk to Bob. Maybe Bob will have a solution to this problem. My zombie's got hands on him. He's got the knuckles. He's got the mittens. He just, he lives to fight. Well, 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 not bad, right? This zombot will follow you everywhere, but if you want to give it precise orders, you'll need to use the tech I developed. You'll be my guinea pig. Take this antenna, attach it to your backpack. Mm. With this, you'll have much finer control over your Zombot. Oh, feel free to give it a try. Zombie hacking was quite buggy until we started working on it, uh, me and my buddies. I know what I'm doing, trust me. This thing probably won't explode. Well, that's every product I buy, from cereal to toilet paper. I, I look for the logo that says this probably won't explode. Let's head on... What are What's going on? What's up? What, she got like a target on her? Why she got a target on? Zombie, no! He's a killer. He just can't help himself. Maybe I can only have one zombie at a time for right now. Oh, I can order my zombie around? Cool, man. Zombie, go get that. Loot that. It didn't work. A zombie target? Is that like armor for my zombie that I can put on him? What's the zomb- Oh, we got the zombot menu! Nice! Does that one make him tank? Or do I have to get more of them? Expert mode. What does expert mode do? Oh, it gives you, like, fine control. Give him a stick to beat the... Set him free. Why would I do that? I'm not going to set him free. I might give him a new outfit, though. I like how you can color code them. You can treat them like Starfleet <laughs> and give them little different outfits for whatever their job is. It said 25% on the target, so it's possible that I don't have that yet. All right, I got my zombie. Let's go talk to the warden. Yeah, I think what happens is as you loot the item more and more off zombies, you get the ability to, like, craft it or put it on your zombies. I would, I would love a few more of these. I guess I'll probably take him off attack mode in a minute, too. Back in town now. Let's go take a look. Oh, no! Wild zombies have got in! They, they, they... Ah, oh, not again! So you guys, like, immune to the zombie virus? I have questions about this whole thing. Like, you look pretty beat up. You've got bandages, which kind of implies that you've been bit. Ooh, I like the I like the music right now. It's got like a rancid vibe to it. 
Like, oh, okay, they added in some guitars now. Now it doesn't have a rancid vibe anymore, and I regret everything that I've ever said. I don't know if I have to have them off this boiler, but I'm going to get them off this boiler. If for nothing else than the crafting materials. I'm going to press the button. Cool, man. Ooh, flashlight. Nice. Uh, so, my friend, you seem to be really struggling with this post-apocalyptic life. How come you don't just come out of the thing and beat him to death, man? Oh, one less. Well, that'll teach me to forget to close the gate. Thankfully, the pit keeps most wild zombies out of paradise. And you found a zombot? Great! Here are the plans for building your camp. You need to go to the other side of the river, to the wild forest. Be careful out there. There's no one left there, and the Zombots are out of control. You'd better find yourself a weapon. Don't look at me like that. I can't do the cleaning as well as watch the gate. Go see the circus sharpshooter who has settled in the area. All right, circus sharpshooter. That's who we're going to be getting our combat advice from. It looks like he's just right over here to the right, so I'm going to cleave my way on over there. I'll be making some... Well, yeah, dude, I already opened up this menu. Apparently, I can give him a target now, too, which makes the zombies go after him instead of going after me. He's looting things right now, which is very, very nice of him. Picked up the stick. Where does it have, like, a list of my sticks and stuff? Because I don't see them in here. Ah, well. What can you do? Onward, zombie! Let us go to war! So uh, what do they what do they mean by all this? What's this right here? Mushrooms? Sure, dude. I can pick up some mushrooms. Can the zombie do it for me? Yeah, grab all those goodies right there, zombie. Do your thing, man. I like you, zombie. You're helpful. You smell pretty funny. Okay. You don't smell funny. You smell god awful. You just you smell the worst. But that being said, you're the helpful kind of smelly. So I feel like I can sort of live with it a little bit. Here's our sniper down here. I've mostly got the blueprint finished for the zombie saddle, too, which I get the feeling is probably going to be really you entertaining. Here? You're looking for a weapon? Good timing. My, uh, zombots have started attacking everything that moves, including me. I need someone to teach them some manners. I'll let you take their weapons if you finish them off. Okay, but that zombie has a gun, though. Does it know how to use the firearm? Uh, it does absolutely know how to use the firearm. I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy here, but it just definitely gatted at me. I'm pretty sure they just killed my zombie as well. Like, I, I think there's a strong chance my zombie is dead. I will exact vengeance. There we go. Stomp him in the face. Get him a little combo right there. Let him feel it. Finish him off. These ones have a lot more HP than the other ones, dude. I've been shot a lot of times today. Dirty rotten undead. Destroy the pylon, kiddo. I'm done with that brainiac and his newfangled technology. <laughs> I could defibrillate my zombie. Yeah, we probably want to pick up all the air pistols and stuff just to make sure that they're in our hands and not in other people's hands. Did I get everything? How many air pistols did that give me? Quite a few air pistols. Do they have durability? Like, are they going to break? If they're not going to break, let's make some bullets. I'm okay with the idea of bullets. Yeah, just, just reload real fast. That's definitely an air gun. And it looks like when we mouse over them, there's kind of like a, a perfect moment we can zap them. I mean, a few more zombies down. They all also have air pistols, which I find to be concerning. 
But since they go down in a couple of shots, it's not that big of a deal. Let's play around with this shooting real fast. It's an air pistol, so I'm not expecting, you know, the boom of a Beretta here. Let me reload real quick. Feels mostly okay. I don't see any major rising issues just yet. Is there anything good over on this side? Destroy a pylon. Oh, dude, I'm going to destroy that pylon. Please understand. Oh. Ow, I've been shot. It's okay, my zombie's destroying the pylon. There we go. Whole bunch of new resources I haven't seen right there, too. I'm a little beat up. I think it may be the case that I need to heal myself. Can I break down, like, these zillions and zillions of air pistols into anything useful? I can. There's also a handy-dandy button to destroy everything. Oh, I could have given my Zombot a gun, dude. We got a gun over here? Let me give my Zombot a gun. I totally forgot. Here, take a gun. There you go. He's now weaponized. You will never be set free. You're just too useful. Bob's Archives P-21-1, the high score Zombot. Open the portable pylon configuration menu. Equip your Zombot with a zombie target and an air pistol, then order it to use its weapon while in combat. And that's it! While the zombies try to hit the bullseye, it's your zombot who's strafing them! <laughs> These may be my favorite tutorials in any video game ever. The game's like a little wonky and play -way -y. I don't really know how to say it other than that. But uh, it is fun thus far, and it's got a great sense of humor. I guess we'll go talk to Pedro and see what he's got to say. Thank you, kiddo. Oh, I didn't have enough bullets to finish him off, but otherwise I most certainly would have. This cataract won't stop me hitting the bullseye. Anyway, uh, can I sign you an autograph? For your trouble? What? You've never heard of me? I'm the most famous, the most celebrated, and the sharpest of all sharp shooters in the history of circus, kiddo. I'm Pedro the Great. Because I like you. Uh, here's a little tip from Uncle Pedro. Zombies start to swarm when you try to run away. It's best to take them out right away. If you run, you're as good as done. A quick punch, and you won't be lunch. <laughs> okay, thank you for that fun rhyme. Uh, so, repair a bridge. Suppose I could probably do that. Oh, thank you, zombie. I appreciate that. We got to name our zombie. I don't know what I want to name him. I was thinking something along the lines of, like, Archibald. Something classy, you know what I mean? I don't know if he's actually going to use his gun. I don't know if I did the thing. There we Well, yeah, use your gun. Flee from combat. I don't really want you to flee. We can make him self-destruct? Dude. Yeah, zombie heal me. And then in combat, also taunt. And I think I've maxed out the orders that I can give him. So we've got a bridge right here. What does that take? Three planks and two ropes. Can I do that easily? So I've got ropes. We'll just make, like, all the ropes. We'll make, like, all the planks. There we go. Then we'll mash this out. The bridge has been fixed. Good job, Archibald. We did it. Hacking helmets, spiky armor. Interesting. So I can make my I can make my guy covered in spikes. Oh, I can also give him a baseball bat. That's fun. Look how excited he was about looting. I'm anthropomorphizing my zombie already. I'm treating him like he's my best friend dog. This is like a weird juxtaposition because usually I'm a zombie-killing maniac. You guys know me. I love a good zombie romp. 
And I guess I'm still a zombie killing maniac. There's no question about that. But I have a friend who's a zombie now, too. An air pump gun. What does an air pump gun do? Fires nails, glass shards, teeth, anything that you can fit inside of it, really. Oh, I also have a baseball bat. That's way better than using a stick. I guess we can give it a try. Is it like a shotgun? It is indeed kind of like a shotgun. I would like the... Okay, there we go. Never mind. Last time it was like kind of hitching while I was walking while shooting. So I was going to say, I would like to be able to walk and shoot. But it looks like we can walk and shoot. Uh, it was a sneak attack. I feel like the pistol is more pre precise. But this does get the job done. Uh, he's hitting me with a bat. Archibald, you want to do something about that? He is beating your lord to death with a baseball bat. These ones apparently have trumpets. We have many different thematic zombies. And they summon more zombies when they do the trumpet thing. Gotcha. We'll just beat him down real fast. Does the does the trumpet summon like if I use the trumpet, will that summon zombies for me? Like if I give Archibald the trumpet, does he become like my my friend, you know, summoning in the war effort? It doesn't look like I Oh, I can. Uh, it summons zombies, but they don't look friendly. They they seem like they may want to hurt me. Might be good for farming XP, though, or, like, testing your defenses. Don't shoot Archibald. He's a good friend. Okay. Loot up all of our goodies over here. And let's carry on gathering up these plates. So after having gathered up all the metal plates that I need just from free roaming and killing the little zombie spawners, uh, the zombies can have kind of like a wide array of equipment that make you kind of crave the ones that are unarmed, man. The, the zombies with shotguns, dude, they can like perma-stun you. Like, they, they knock you down every time they shoot you, man. It's kind of a headache. Don't get shot by those zombies. It's a mistake. Getting shot, it's never a good idea. I mean, I guess it's, unless it's for, like, measles, mumps, and rubella, and then it's a really good idea, because all of those sound supremely unpleasant to contract. Now we're looking for a source of wood, which the game assures me is over here to the right. Does he have a gun? Better not have a gun. I'm not trying to deal with that nonsense right now. Man, that was a sturdier one than the last one I broke. Hey, new recipes. All right. So we've got wood fire generators, and we've got a shelter. Is it just the trees over here that give us the wood? Do I, like, chop them down? Or do the sticks, like, respawn over here? I kind of made the mistake of converting all of my sticks into planks. So inside the buildings tab, what can we do here? Well, it looks like we can bang out a shelter. That's probably not a terrible idea. I don't know exactly where I want to put it. I guess uh, I, it's kind of close to everything over there. I would say, like, maybe over here off to the side. That seems okay to me. I don't know if I can rotate. Your shelter has a mega hoop station, allows you to travel fast. Uh, so that's what those old things I've been activating are. They're little fast travel areas. So i got, like, a little house in here. That's our teleporter that let us go in between all the little things that I've been activating. I didn't activate the ones at the entrance or at Pedro's house because I didn't know at that time what I was doing. But I know now... What else can I build? So they want me to have a weapons workshop and a generator. Wood generator. Let's do this thing. We can rotate it, but placement seems very, very selective. So I guess we'll put it right there. There weren't a whole lot of things that I could do with it. I got 24 sticks left. Okay, let's make sure we can do, like, the weapons workshop and whatnot first. And then we'll worry about the rest of it. A little bit of scrap right there. Another stick falling from the trees. I think they do. I think they fall from the trees. All right. Weapons workshop. We got the stuff. Let's do it. Oh. 
I guess I'll nestle it down like right here. Building seems to be okay, although it seems to be really, really picky about where you can put stuff. Inside of here, it looks like we can get new weapons. We've got spiky clubs. We've got rare baseball bats. It looks like we're going to have gear quality factoring in at sub point too. We can make a rare air pistol. We can do that right now. We can make our pistol even doper so that we can shoot zombies better. We've got like a rare air machine gun. Okay, I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that right there. I like, I'm an addict of the DACA. I'm going to need it, but we're going to make one of these right now for now because it's a level 8 item. And all we've got is like level 5s. I'm going to scrap all my junk real quick too. There we go. All junk hath been scrapped. Now we just got to fire up the generator. Generator, we'll fix it a little bit, lost some HP, we'll open it up, we'll throw like 25 sticks in there. Looks like it's doing its thing, and it wants me to build a pylon over here. Oh, I get what it wants me to do. It makes it, it's, it's showing me how to set up like the basic production flow. Gotcha, so we've got a pylon right there. The wood is over here. Doesn't hate that spot. Configure. All right, so pylon radius. It actually looks like I can raise up the radius too, and we can assign zombies to it. Is that what it wants me to do next? All right, so configure, and then tell it to collect. It looks like I actually have to send Archibald to work on this thing. It's kind of a bummer, because he's my little friend buddy. Oh! It just gives me another one. Never mind. So I guess the autonomous zombies that do tasks and the zombies that follow you around in combat are zombies of a different breed. Okay. We've got a comms terminal inside here. I built that all by myself, huh? Looks like the comms terminal is down here to the south. Far, far away from the little nook that I live inside of. Let's go see. It's on this side. All right, let's go take a look at it. I mean, honestly, so far, it's not as bad as I was expecting. Uh, I, I mean that. Like, coming on in, I, I got I wasn't a huge fan of How to Survive 2, and so I came in kind of just like, eh. Uh, from what I've seen so far, it's an interesting take on the zombie apocalypse with the automation and whatnot and the capturing zombies like they're Pokemon. On top of that, I guess I've noticed the, the melee combat feels a little bit lunky-clunky. Hello, Jeff Tusk here, owner of Paradise, the H2 Lunar Base, and much more. We've just detected your presence in the park. You won't be able to stay very long. The invasion is growing outside the perimeter. It'll be a tidal wave and complete carnage for any survivors. It's the end for Paradise, the end for Earth. All inhabitants have been evacuated to the H2 Lunar Base. We're safe and comfortable here. Humanity's future is up here, not down there. Let me think. Uh, we could come back to find you. Our rockets can land almost anywhere. You just need to build a launch pad strong enough for us to land and launch off again. If I remember correctly, we used a material that was suitable for reinforcing the fence around Paradise. Build the structure for us and let me know when it's done. Okay, so apparently we're going to be rescued by Jeff Tusk. We gotta go to space. That's it. Zombies in space. But so far, I guess the real question you have to ask yourself with any title like this is, would I be willing to play this a little bit more? And despite the clunkiness that I think is, like, inherent in a lot of the little things going on, yes. The answer is yes. Because, like, there's so many zombie games out there that are just like, it's DayZ. You know what I mean? Whereas, like, in this game, this is all about zombie wrangling, zombie taming, getting them to be on your team. I don't know if I ever unlocked the saddle, but I do have armor now, too. I want to make an armor chest piece. Let's do that and see what that looks like. So we've got the armor chest piece. It already put it on. It just looks like I covered myself with a bunch of leaves, but I'm going to assume that the four armor class right there matters. It seems like there's a decent skill tree to play around with here. I'm guessing eventually you'll have all of them. I don't know if there's going to be a limit on that. But I've made my zombie good at shooting people because, I mean, they made the zombie hold his gun sideways and go bang, bang, gangster style. 
in the little tutorial video. I want my I want my zombie to hold gun sideways and go bang bang gangster style. I don't know. There's something that's just built in funny about that to me. Like it makes me crack up. Uh, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today we took a look at Welcome to Paradise. My first impressions after having played for 40 minutes or so is that there's a clunkiness to the combat. But I mean, as far as zombie games go, at least it's attempting to do something different. And actually, I think that it pulls it off. Every time there's like a menu or something else like that that I'm like, I wonder if I can do this. Uh, you you can do it. They do give you like limited control over all the little zombots and whatnot that follow you around. You can equip them. It looks like we've got little modules over here. You can make them into healers and tanks and stuff like that to help you fight. You can just turn them into autonomous drones uh, that harvest sticks for you back at your base. Interesting stuff, and I'm interested in seeing how they go a little bit further with it. I'll see you all tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet, but for now, that's about all I've got to go off. Take care, and I'll see you all next time.